I just want to be stoned, yeah, staring at a windmill, watching that bitch go around in circles. That's what I want. I want, alright, Noya. I want to be able to just stare at a windmill and be enamored by the fact that it's going around in a circle. That's what I want. Hysterical laughter is good. I've had it said multiple times that I should not be so tense for, for a, as much weed as I smoke. Well, you know, this is me with weed. I'd hate to see what it's like if I didn't have it. But I, I really, I really am tired of embarrassing myself in situations. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of making a spectacle. I mean, if I'm gonna make a spectacle out of myself, I want it to be for something that I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm smacking my ass to the beat of the song, or I'm saying some shit that's funny, or whatever. I, I like that spectacle, but the, oh my god, what is, look at this guy, oh my god, you know, get away from him. That that guy, I don't want to be him. I don't want to be that motherfucker that people gotta hide their kids from, or pull them away, and take them to another room, or where I fuck up everybody's good time with that shit. Ain't it, though? That's a, god damn, that's brilliant. Shiny Puffy, you've been in here talking dumbass shit since you got in here and you just said something brilliant and profound. It is hard to be a grown-up. I get laughed at... 923! I like Seinfeld because I relate to George! Because George loses his shit on a regular, but no one really gives a fuck. You know what I mean? No one's, like, scared of George. You know, he's just losing it again. And I'm George. That's why I like Seinfeld, because I'm George. Huh? Fucking serenity now, goddammit! Serenity now! Because no one gives a fuck. People are so used to me fucking losing it that no one gives a shit. It's got no relevance on anything and no one cares. It's believe it or not, George isn't at home. So leave a message at the beep. Something like that. So yeah. <clears throat> they are. I'm angry. I'm always angry. Y'all ever seen the episode, uh, you ever seen the episode of Seinfeld where George is at the car lot with Jerry and he tries to get his candy bar and he gets stuck and the goddamn mechanic eats his candy bar? That fucking, where he's just losing it. God damn it! The fuck this shit! That just, damn it, that reminds me of me. I'd be raging the fuck out no one would give a shit. Like, man, there's some skinny dude out there raging and shit. Give him something. Fucking Twix! I'd be fucking losing it over that shit. Out in the parking lot screaming for no reason. I knocked myself out with a fucking pan. You ever had a bitch laugh at you because you got off too early? Yeah, that ain't shit having it is like having a bitch laugh at you because you just knocked yourself out with a fucking pan. And come on, man, who would lie about some shit like that? Really, I'm not gonna really. I'm not gonna tell you about some shit that ain't true. I I, I knocked myself out with a goddamn pan. I'm, that is that is not normal. Not when I when I when I came to on the kitchen floor, the bitch was laughing at me. And that was that just pissed me off even more. I, I didn't know what else to do. Yeah, of course you would. It's hilarious. If I saw some stupid, raged-out motherfucker whacking himself in the head with a pan, I'd fall apart. So I can see why that's funny. That's what I mean. I got idiotic redneck tendencies, but I am enlightened. <laughs> and I can see my idiot. That's the, that's the worst part is being self-aware of these tendencies, of knowing they exist. Like most rednecks I know, they don't even realize that what they're doing is fucked up. They think it's good. They should be doing it. Yeah, I hit myself in the head with a pan multiple times. It took about four or five times for it finally knocked me out. It knocked me straight to the floor. Completely, completely black to the floor. Boom. Not when you know what you are and what you are isn't a good thing. 745, then it's not a good thing. Self-awareness or whatever, knowing who you are, it's not good when who you are is not good. No, I wasn't mad at the pan. I was mad in general. The pan was there. The pan was there. Y'all ain't never been so goddamn mad or whatever or so frustrated at a situation that you just wanted to hit yourself. No, nah, no, nah, it was one of them cheap ones. Because it bent. <laughs> sort of. I mean, my head didn't. But yeah, cast iron probably would have killed me. Nah, some little cheap fucking aluminum, whatever the fuck, nothing. <clears throat> nah, it was such a quick succession of hits, I didn't have time to do anything. It was like really fast. Really fast. 
Like I was just mad as shit, tense as fuck, couldn't take anything, it's all fucking exploded. God damn it, pan! <laughs> done. Just like that. Just like that. Fist those whap, 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 done on the floor. Bitch is laughing. I'm on the floor. My head hurts and the pan is ruined. Yeah, it was fucked up. Ah, indeed. I've had many, many, many boxer breaks from punching inanimate objects. I have destroyed so many. I beat an Xbox to death one time. I beat a car. So many things. Some furniture that I had bought. I destroyed it. I had just bought that shit. Just bought that shit. I put it together upside down after hours of work. And when I realized that I put most of it together upside down, I fucking lost it. I was in, I attempted to start taking it back apart. It wasn't going the way I wanted to, and I just fucking destroyed. Fuck that shit. Fuck that piece of shit. I destroyed that motherfucker. And I'm cussing and spitting while I'm doing it too. Stomping that motherfucker like it's somebody who like tried to murder me or something. Motherfucker, son of a bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And I'm stomping this bitch. And everybody in the house is like, God damn it, you are crazy. <laughs> I'm like, I know it! I know, but I can't fucking control it! What the hell do you want me to do? Nothing fucking sucks worse than being pissed off and breaking some shit that you like. That, oh man, that is just horrible. When you, or when you break glass and you gotta clean it up. Or you know that you're not gonna get it all up, you're gonna step on it. Yeah, that 740, that's a box of break. That's what happens when you be punching inanimate shit. <laughs> Your knuckles give. I'm hoping Valium, because Valium, I like Valium. I got rage issues. I don't fucking know why. I just get tense. I ain't got no patience or tolerance for any goddamn thing. Everything has to go exactly how I want it to, and if it doesn't, I fucking lose my shit. Yeah, I bet that's fucking horrible. I bet they won't. Jack Daniels killed himself by kicking his safe. I know that because someone told me about it, as in, hey man, you stupid fucker, listen here. Here's a goddamn cautionary tale about rage. Jack Daniels couldn't get into his goddamn safe, kicked that motherfucker, fucked his toe up, died of gangrene. Or some shit like that. It's a goddamn rage, man. Rage. Calm the fuck down. And I know that. I know that. How can I sit here? How can I sit here and know that? And I can't do it. I don't understand it. I can tell you to do it, but I can't do it. Just don't fucking get it. It don't make no sense to me. Randall, how did you do that, man? How did you... What'd you do to cause that? Yeah, but I'm sure it was an, that's what gangrene is. It's an infection. I mean, you had to do something. Stab that motherfucker, step on a nail, get shot in it. It is hysterical. Because it's harmless, man. I ain't going to hurt nobody. I'm going to get loud and I might break some shit. and I'm just going to make an ass out of myself. So it is funny. It's like George Costanza. George doesn't get mad and beat nobody up. George gets mad and screams and freaks out and destroys shit. That's what he does. Same thing I do. That's why it's funny. Fuck yeah it does. It tingles. 745 tingles like being electrocuted. Very uncomfortable feeling. And it sucks to look at it. Yes, he does. We do need a DJ, don't we? My scooter? Ah, uh, the scooter. Ah, uh, it was. So it, was, it wasn't even your fault. All right, Randall. I got you. That sucks, man. I'm not even afraid of the nail in the foot. I know that they're going to give me a damn shot. That's the first thing I think of when I step on a nail. I don't want nobody to know. Shit. They're going to let me get a shot. I don't want anybody to know. I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to walk around and act like it didn't happen. I don't want nobody even 